Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiot in Space. In the last episode, we built this guy, this yellow guy right here that I have named, um, Watt. Yes, Watt. That was it. Since then, since that episode, a couple of things have happened. Uh, we've had two updates, at least two updates that, that I've seen anyways. Um, I blew up AMP. Y'all remember the blue ship that I was so proud of that had a connector and everything? I blew it up. Um, I tried to connect to one of the uh, spawn shuttles to pull stuff out of it because we were running out of uh, 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 construction components. That's it. We were running out of construction components, so I had uh, all of the assemblers creating construction components. And uh, I was trying to pull the construction components out of one of the shuttles. Uh, blew up amp, blew up the shuttle, everything's gone. Lost all my stuff. Was quite pissed at the time, yes. Um, so I have built this guy as a replacement. Uh, basically, I switched it up a bit. There's obviously no landing gear on this thing because I have switched it with uh, one of these connectors here. That way I have direct connection into the um, station so I can pull stuff out. Plus, this is a large cargo container and the large cargo containers on the small ships have the large connectors these guys on four of the sides and the small connectors on two of the sides so i was able to connect this guy to the reactor as well as connect the large cargo container directly to the connector thus i won't have that glitch anymore all right, so um, space connect or space got on, and he's screwing around. I think he's trying to park in the shuttle bay, which I don't think his ship is going to fit in the shuttle bay. Um, there's space, but I don't know if there's enough space. But yes, this is Space Gator. He was also whoa, stay the hell out of his way. He was also a guy on the old Community Craft server. I say old community craft server. I have no idea if it's actually still going. It probably is. Um, it's just not... I'm not on it anymore. Um, so he's got... He's got space engineers. And uh, DW's got space engineers. So I got a couple of guys on there. Uh, but he got on. He looked at my City 17 here. He looked at all our little shuttles. And he went... You know what? I can do better. And he built... This... Yeah, um, you remember how I was going to make a giant drilling ship that I could just drill straight through? Uh, yeah, he did that in a day. He, he just kind of went, eh, screw it, and did it. Um, and it makes, uh, like, okay, so Little Red here, my original drilling ship, makes holes like this. Oh, my lights were on. Okay. They're just not very bright. They, yeah, Little Red makes holes like this. The SG Miner over there, as he's calling it, makes holes like this. <laughs> it does exactly what I wanted it to do. It goes straight through the asteroid. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm just going to make this asteroid disappear eventually. Um, the problem is, once you make a hole like that, you have to let it sit for a day while it runs all the stuff through its internal refineries. Yeah, refineries, plural. It's got two of them built in, and it still takes well over a day to process all the ores that it gathers. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, another thing that's happened, and I will show you over here. Boop. I told you we've had several updates, at least two updates since, uh, since uh, I, I recorded the last episode. Well, there's a slight glitch that happens now. Okay, so we're going towards a mining carriage. Now, as far as I can tell, all of the miner, uh, mining ships have turrets. Now, the mining carriage I know has turrets because I've captured a mining ship before, a mining carriage before. In fact, I recognize the shape already. Um, not, not a small ship, but not necessarily a big ship either. But as you can see, I'm coming straight forward and I tend not to give a shit. And there's a reason for that. So you know within 600 meters, they start targeting you? 
Well, we're within 600 meters, and we're going way, way, way over six or three meters per second. Whee! All right, so let's get close to this guy. And look, the turret's actually spinning. And I'm going to kick off my inertial dampeners here in a second. I just want to get uh, relatively close to the speed of the ship. There we go. All right. And then I just have to very, very slowly inch my way in. Not that I'm worried about uh, the turret. I'm just worried about hitting the ship at full speed. It's kind of painful. Not pretty. All right. It, yeah, that is a storage container, so I should be able to access from here. Okay, so um, just get close. I'm trying to get stable so I can do this. So I, no, control panel. Let's see, Gatling turret. Okay, you see how it's on here? Off, close out, control panel, Gatling turret on again okay so you can't control the gatling turrets i'm like okay well maybe they fixed that thing because i mean it's fairly easy to catch one of these ships if you're you know just underneath it since the gatling turret right there is just on the top of the ship like even if it was targeting me it's not it wouldn't because it can't it would see me but it can't okay so now we have the door here door doesn't even open okay and then, there's this. Grinder's going at it. Not losing health, not losing anything. You know, I can't do crap with these ships now. <laughs> so I'm standing right in front of the turret that I know, I know, is set to attack moving targets. I'm moving at 25.2 meters per second, where it will attack anything that's... Uh, above, yeah, three meters per second. And if I go in here, try to get its stuff out, I can't do crap all. It recognizes that there's a connection between the two, and that's because there's a tube going into the turret. So I should be able to do this, but I can't. The AI ships are bugged, and it's quite annoying. Because, you know... I want to complete my collection, but I can't. I mean, that's not a big one because I have a mining carriage already, but it does kind of annoy me that I can't capture any more ships. I was being so careful. I was getting close to one of the military ships. I was staying out of the range of the turrets. I actually got in there and didn't get seen by a turret, and then I couldn't open the bloody door. I'm like, what the crap? You know, I was so careful, so, so very careful, but I couldn't do it. It was so annoying. I spent like 20 minutes just getting, making sure I was in front of the ship outside of the 600 meter, yeah, 600 meter range off. And, uh, yeah, it just didn't work and it drove, it drives me insane. Everything else still works. I have no problems accessing the stuff in City 17. I have no problems accessing the stuff in it, stuff in any of the ships that are already here. Whee. Like if I go to the same exact kind of ship, but one I've captured before. So go over here, go into the back. So it's the same exact kind of ship. I just captured this a couple of days ago. Yeah, it actually works. Kind of annoying. Kind of a lot of annoying. Bloop. All right, so I have been poking around with a few of the things. I have no idea what he's doing now. Yeah, I've been poking around with a few of the updates that came recently. The Specifically, the connector update. As you can see, we have a ship up here connecting to a connector. We have a ship down here connecting to a connector, and we have that ship right there connecting to a connector, and then, of course, we have the giant-ass freaking mining ship connected to a connector. 
And if we go into, ow, into, well, I could do, technically do this anywhere, but I'm going to do this from the cockpit. That way I can restore power at the same exact time. But if we go in here, go into our inventory, we can see we have a whole bunch of different colors. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So five different things connected all at once. Uh, amp it up is my little well my new welder ship uh i'm back baby is my spawn ship sg miner is a big big ass miner ghost is that yellow spawn ship and the reason i called it that i can't show off anymore because it fixed itself uh and obviously city 17 is the uh station uh, I like how they color code these things so you can keep track of which one's which because assembler, assembler, assembler doesn't tell me anything. But uh, the white ones are the ship you're currently attached to, the one you're correct directly accessing. Uh, I believe the red ones are the second, the green ones are the third. Um, let's see, amp it up. No, ghost would be after that and then amp it up. Um I can't tell the difference between these two colors. I think they're different colors, but I'm colorblind. I think this one might be just a little bit more green than this one, but I can't tell. Um, so I'm mildly curious if they eventually just run out of colors, or maybe these two colors are the same color. I don't know. I really don't know. But I do like how they do this, how they uh, color code things. I Again... I, again, don't like how they're all just alphabetized except for the beacons. I mean, the beacons are a little bit weird how they're organized because G, S, I, C, A, C, A, A, A. Oh, A, assembler, A, assembler, A, assembler, B, beacon, 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 cockpit, A, B, C. Apparently, that's how it's organized. Um, but yeah, so you can access the inventory. And as you can imagine, it gets kind of confusing of what all stuff is in here. But there's other updates that are actually kind of awesome. All right, so hide empty. Boop. And now it only shows the stuff that are, actually has stuff in it. Uh, and that's very useful because I have a parts cargo container that has all of the parts in it. I have the ingot container, which has all of the ingots in it. So I can easily dig through stuff, and I can also access stuff over here. So if, say, I wanted to put stuff in the amp cargo bay, uh, I have to find it first. There we go. Amp's cargo container. I can just click and drag find what i need to pull from the parts cargo container and click and drag it right into the amp cargo container now as you can see i had to scroll through all of this just to find amp well there's also a reason why i named it amp cargo container and that's this box right here it's a search box or at least it's a filter box is more accurate so i just type in amp and i get the cargo containers or i put in the refineries i get all five refineries <laughs> Um, I have been labeling these things so I can actually keep track of where everything is. Uh, that's why I have a parts cargo container. I could just type in part or um, ingot cargo container, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, it just makes life easy. Um, I really do like this. I'm, I'm liking how this is turning out. Uh, it's still kind of hard to use. Um, I think... I really do think that it would be easier if it organized it by ship, then by alphabet. I really do. Um, I might be mistaken on that, but I really do think that. Let's see. Anything else interesting that I've noticed in the new updates? Um, I've noticed this little glitch. I don't know if this is a glitch or what's going on with it. Uh, maybe... I'm not 100% sure how it does this, but, uh, okay, so I show up as Chrono Trick, Space Gator shows up as Space Gator, but DW shows up as player underscore seven, whatever. And then, um, like, uh, uh, 
one, if Space Gator logs out, he just shows up as a number as well. So, yeah, confusing stuff. I, I, I don't understand. But I'm liking how this game is shaping up. It's, it's quite, quite nice. Quite a useful game. Or er, quite a nice game. And it has some really neat stuff. Like, okay, you see how my gravity is 1.0G? If I go down here, zero Gs. And it confuses the hell out of our little gravity thing. All right, you see that uh, gravity is pointing in that direction for some strange reason. If I turn off my jetpack, I do not move. Okay. Boop. Okay. Um, yeah, that's because this ship's gravity is... 1g and that ship's grab or the station's gravity is 1g but this ship is upside down because of how it has to connect so i get to play with gravity for reals man i love playing with gravity uh i have every intention of actually making bays like shuttle bays where you can connect up the shuttle and have a walkway out of the shuttle but the problem with that is they don't line up because there is a buffer between these two, a reasonable buffer, by the way, a logical buffer. Um, yeah, because there's a buffer between the two, they don't align right, so I can't do it properly. Plus, I have to get rid of whoop, that button. I have to get rid of all the turrets, which isn't necessarily a problem. And all that fun stuff. Alright, so today what I'm planning on doing is actually honestly nothing. I wasn't planning on doing anything. Oh, he parked it. Um, it's going to be extremely dangerous for anybody to take off. Um, I need a bigger car. I need a bigger uh, shuttle bay. I need a larger shuttle bay. <laughs> I have so many so many little ships now. I need to make bigger storage of them. But what I want to do... Oh, look. It's another private sale that I can't catch. All right. As I said, we've got this giant freaking thing. Boop. Oh, I died. I fell like two feet and I died. That was interesting. Oh, and I love this. Um, you pick which medical room you spawn into okay there it goes i was gonna say i crashed the game i can spawn into the medical room that's in the station the medical room that's on the ship the medical room that's on that shuttle the medical room that's on that shuttle or i guess a new respawn ship which i don't want to do so respawn uh no i because screw that crap just takes up space in my inventory i don't use it plump Yay. All right, so what do I want to do? Well, what I want to do is going to be extremely complicated, and I don't know if I have the uh, ability to do it, and that is I want to build a new station. Nice big honking station built from the ground up with the idea of storing giant ass or a crap ton of small ships in it um so basically what i'm thinking is okay so space up one up us all with the drilling ship i obviously don't need to make the drilling ship since we already have one so let's say we make the death star that is going to be insanely difficult oh wow it clips or it clicks in place so it's not like it, uh, what the hell? What are the dots on my crosshair for? That's interesting. Wee. I need steel plate to build beacon. Wait, I didn't pick a beacon. Go away. <laughs> uh, I need amp. What the shit?
Um, okay. I understand what he did. I don't know why he did it, but... Okay, interesting. I have no idea what the hell's going on. All right, so let's grab, amp it up here. Get in there. Boop. Uh, park. Why? Over his ship. And we're free. Let's go make parking fun. Hope he doesn't try to park all his ships into the shuttle bay. It's not going to work. All right. Now, I want steel plate. That ought to work. At least for now, anyways. At least I hope it'll work. Uh, no, not P. G. There we go. New station. This seems a little bit more rotated than it was before. Whatever. All right, and I don't think, yeah, this isn't going to move because it's a station. Now, how big am I going to make this? I have no idea. Uh, is this complete too? Yep, that's complete. So if you need steel plate, you can just build a station, cut it down, build a station, cut it down, build a station, cut it down. Boop. Of course, we aren't that crazy needing for uh, steel plate. As you could tell, I had 10,000 in the freaking amp over there. Boop. And... All right. Now, I've got to figure out how to actually make this thing. I'm not 100% sure how to make this thing because I can't make a sphere obviously, and the Death Star is spherical. And I'm not hearing any sounds. Ah, the joys of these glitches. Ah, the joys of alphas. But, uh, yeah, so I can't make a sphere. I think the only thing I can make would be a dodecahedron. So it's not going to be the Death Star, it's going to be the Death Dodecahedron. Which is going to be interesting to say, but it's got to be got to be huge. I'm lagging out again. Oh, yep, there it goes. Now I have found. I don't know if I put it on the video. I have found that if you have this problem and you're trying to fly around, you can fix the problem by hitting zero, which takes the item out of your inventory, or out of your hand, I should say, not out of your inventory. And that fixes the problem, but, you know, it's not a good fix. Given amount is not a valid number. A thousand is not a valid number. Okay, I, I, I found another glitch. Your game doesn't like commas. You put everything in commas, but your game doesn't like them. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> Hmm, let's see, what does that say about the game? It uses commas. So that means that it's a U.S. company, right? Because like everywhere else in the world, it's uh, periods, or I guess full stops. And uh, commas are for the decimal places, right? Or is that just Great Britain? I have no idea. I'm not good with my... Uh, different cultures thing. I have no idea. And there are no sounds to this, and this is screwing my head. And this is nowhere large enough. Wait, am I off one? I am off one. All right, you. Wait, how am I off one? Boop. You need to go there. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Glitch is annoying the crap out of me. And then I just put one there, right? No, I still have to do here. I'm trying to keep this straight in my head, and it's not easy. Oh, I just had a thought about how much 
how much of a giant pain in the ass this is going to be when it comes to doing the diagonals. Diagonals are going to be damn near impossible. Alrighty. This is going to have to be huge because I'm thinking I want something that if I really, really wanted to, I could park that ship in it. The lag is annoying as hell. But that's going to take forever. Oh, oh, oh. There is another change that I found that I really, really, really like. Okay. Um, so watch this. Boom, boom, boom. Like bang, boom, done. I love this. Yes, I'm just doing this with the hand welder. But I was poking around the server settings. Uh, I was going to reset all of the uh, ownership settings because ownership is a little weird right now. So every now and then I'll probably be resetting the ownership settings. But, uh, you know, I was poking around the settings and I found settings to change the welding speed and the grinding speed. These weren't in there when I set up the server, so this is one of the more recent updates that did this. Um, it also affects ships as well. Boop. Boop. It is a little difficult to see when I'm piloting this ship because of this giant freaking thing. Um, why does that welder not want to work? No, I'm right on it. Why is it that only one of my welders want to work? But every now and then I'll see sparks coming from it. It is very strange. But yeah, I mean, I'm blowing through this welding. I love it. I love it a lot. Boop. Death Star. Trying to, anyways. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be the Death Dodecahedron. I'd say that. You know, I just put that in the text for him but i have absolutely no idea how to spell dodecahedron you know I'll, i'm sure i'll look it up eventually but uh yeah i have no idea how to spell dodecahedron i know it's a uh die in uh magic the gathering that's really only that's really the only way i know that it is actually a thing is that it's a die in magic no not magic um Oh, right, right, right. That's the center block, so it's different. It's um, Dungeons and Dragons. That's it. I knew it was a magical something or other. But, yeah, so... Um, all right, well, I'm going to work on the shell of this thing. I mean, you get the general idea of what I'm doing with this, right? Um, I'm going to make this... Uh, that kind of a shape. It's going to be bigger. A lot bigger. Um an ass load bigger actually which is why i built it out there i'm gonna build it that way too that way i don't have to worry about the asteroid i was thinking about just taking the digger uh, the 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 space gator yeah we should really call that just space gator because it kind of fits it's in space and it's got teeth like a gator a lot a lot a lot of teeth though shark would be more accurate because sharks have more teeth but um it's it was made by a guy named space gator so i figure space gator is actually appropriate to call it that all right anyway so i'm going to end the episode here i'm going to continue building this guy just the shell of it uh, i have no idea how i'm going to build this or what i'm going to build on the inside if it gets overly complicated i'll probably start recording it and explaining what i'm doing but i mean as of right now you get the general gist i'm going to build something akin to this and i'm going to build five other five more of them and then connect them diagonally i i think i think that will work i don't know i guess i'll find out eventually um so i will see you guys in the next episode and yes i have every intention of adding thrusters and getting this bastard moving i don't know how but i do so i will see you guys in the next episode and am i seriously out of no Okay, welders are a little glitched, so I will, uh, if that is a station, it will never fly. Um, yeah, but you can convert it into a ship.
All right, so I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.